Right, here we have a foundation drawn for a little garden wall. I've just quickly drawn this just to show this is uh, representing the side of a house and we're just coming off here with a small foundation uh, and just to help you to to look and identify um, what this drawing all represents um, here we have the concrete so if I just do the symbol hatching for concrete and just a few little dots on the top representing the aggregate and um, what we do for soil is like four lines going that way and then a series of lines going this way four going back that way and then when I draw this <coughs> I tend to um, just draw uh, on the corners really and if it's a long uh, area I may do one or two just uh, a little bit along the length of it as well so but this is <coughs> normally how I will represent the soil. Just so anybody looking at it can see oh, that's the trench and this is the concrete within. Now again we're doing a volume uh, calculation here so we just need to know the three dimensions required <coughs> excuse me for um, uh, this calculation. So the length of this we're going to say is going to be 3 meters 200. And we're going to say the depth of the foundation, and uh, we will cover depths of foundations in one or two future videos uh, when we start talking about boundary walls. Uh, but uh, just for now, I'm just going to keep to like standard sizes and. Uh, the width of the wall I'm going to say is going to be 450 millimetres and the depth of the foundation I'm going to say is 500. So these are the three dimensions that we need to calculate the amount of concrete needed for this trench. So again if we as always start with writing out the formula so you know and the person who is looking at your work will know that you know what you're talking about. So we've got the length, <coughs> we're going to have the width and we will have the depth. So again, as we said in all the videos so far, uh, these are all written in millimeters, which is probably what you will see on a drawing. So when these come to, if I just write them as we see them on the drawing, in millimeters, as we uh, convert this into a calculation, we need to make this sure that these are all in meters. So the width, we've got 450, and the depth, we've got 500. I'm going to put that in brackets because they're all in millimetres. For the calculation, we want to make sure they are in metres. So 3,200 uh, will be 3 metres, sorry, or 3.2 metres. And obviously 450 millimetres will be 0 0.45. And 500 millimetres will be 0 0.5. So if we just get our calculator involved. We can see here that what we need is 3.2 multiplied by 0.45 multiplied by 0.5 equals. And we can see here we have a, an answer of 0 0.72 meters cubed. So that is uh, well a mini mix load that well not a load but a mini mix order because you're looking at only three quarters of a meter of concrete or just under so again just remember that that is three because we've got the three uh, dimensions required for a cubic calculation okay